Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on computer networks. Today's topic of discussion is the introduction for the classless addressing. Before I start explaining you the importance or the need for the classless addressing, I'll just put here the information related to the classful addressing. Why did we go for the classless addressing? When we had for classful addressing, these many networks, these many hosts possible. The reason is, I have just written here few statements. Classful addressing has fixed subnet mask. Whatever I wrote in the table under the Heading is what? The default mask. So that and this subnet mask here. Okay, both means the same. It has got a fixed value for the default mask. And with fixed subnet mask, many IP addresses go wasted. So by using classless addressing, we can save IP addresses. How to save IP addresses? One example I will give you. So I want to form a network with uh, 300 IP addresses. The first thing that comes to my mind is let me go for the class C. C because in class C you can check here N N H. H bits host part is what? 8. So 2 to the power of 8, 256 IP addresses are possible. But my requirement is 300 IP addresses. So for me class C will not help. Then I will see that okay let me go for the class B. In class B if you observe you have 16 bits for the host part. And 2 to the power of 16 is 65536. Now, if, if I am taking any network of class B, the host that are existing are the IP addresses that are possible are 65,536, but my requirement is only 300. So, when I take this 300, what I will be getting is, when I use 300 from this network, I will be wasting 65,236. Wasting here means I will be paying for this IP addresses, but I will not be making use of it. So, this is going to unnecessarily waste the IP addresses. Then what is that I will do? Okay, this particular class B is also not working. Whether class A, class A will be the worst case because th that has got host part itself. How many? 24 bits. 2 to the power of 24, it is nearly 1 crore 67 lakhs. So, that many IP addresses I will get. That is also not helping me. For that reason only, we go for classless addressing. In classless addressing, what I can do is, suppose if I want 300 IP addresses, if and also I said you, any time when you take IP addresses, it will always be what? To the, in terms of powers of 2 only. So, the nearest uh, value will be what for me? 512. Okay, I will, I have to take 512 IP addresses. From where to take then? Because class C is not permitting me, it is only 256. Class B is allowing but too many IP addresses will go waste and with class A also too many IP addresses will go waste. So now I have decided don't want class C, don't want class B, don't want class A. I will form a classless addressing network. So in classless addressing network what I am deciding is since I need only 512 IP addresses, I will create a subnet mask which will allow me to use 512 IP addresses. How to create the subnet mask for 512 IP addresses? Now I can write a subnet mask, new subnet mask to get 512 IP addresses. So the new subnet mask will be like this because with all 9 zeros, earlier with 8 zeros it was 256. Now with 9 zeros I am able to have 512 IP addresses. So this is how for us the classless addressing will save the IP addresses. Now my slash notation or the default subnet mask will be this will be 255, this will be 255 and this will be 254. Okay, the third byte. This will be 0. So this will be 0. So now what is that you have done is if it was a class C address it will be 255.255.255.255.0 right and in slash notation you are writing 24 because 24 bits are used to denote the class C address. But now I have modified the subnet mask and I have made it 255.255.254.0 and in slash notation it will be slash 23 because 23 bits are denoting the network part. I can modify the subnet mask and try to make a network of my requirement. Similarly, if you want to if you want to have 1024 then your subnet mask will be 252 and your slash notation will be what slash 22 if you want to have 2048 ip addresses then you can write the subnet mask as 2555.248.0 and your slash notation will be 21 
so whatever you are writing in the slash value that denotes the network part by default always it was 24 now you can customize you can make it 23 you can make it 22 you can make it 21 you can make it 20 you can make it uh, 19 all values are possible this is how it is helpful for forming networks in classless addressing if i want to create a network with just 30 addresses then we get addresses in terms of powers of 2 so it is 32 2 to the power of 5 is what 32 so 5 host bits are present here now how to understand this problem i'll tell you see i am uh, class let me take for example class c address okay in class c what is the default mask it is 255.255.255.0 okay this last bit is giving you complete the last byte is giving you information about the host so that means in binary if i am writing all the four bits one two three four five six seven eight eight bits i am writing it in zero so how many ip addresses are there two to the power of eight 256 ip addresses are possible i want to form one network wherein i need only 30 ip addresses okay i don't want 256 ip addresses i need only 30 ip addresses and one more thing is always we get ip addresses in terms of powers of 2 so the nearest number to make this in terms of powers of 2 will be 32 so if i have to form 32 ip addresses then the number of bits that can represent 32 will be how much 5 bits of the host portion need to be zeros actually by default you have an option to take 256 ip addresses for 256 ip addresses 8 bits of the host portion will be zeros i have shown here in the example see for this all zeros 8 bits are zeros if you want 256 ip addresses i need only what 32 ip addresses so suppose if classless addressing was not there always we have to take what the class c addressing network okay and we will be getting 256 ip addresses and if i get 256 ip addresses i will make use of only 32 and the remaining will be how many one five minus three 224 ip addresses will go wasted instead now i can define a network with whatever size of host or with whatever size of ip addresses i require so here i have decided that my network should have only 32 ip addresses to have 32 ip addresses I need the last 5 bits as zeros because you can check here 2 to the power of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you convert this into decimal, you will get 32. Now what to do with the remaining 3 bits which were already representing the host portion? Now I am changing that 3 bits to 1s. What I have done is this default mask which was there like this, all 1s followed by 8 zeros. Now I have changed it to like this. In this 27 bits are ones okay and 5 bits are zeros but in default 24 bits are ones and 8 bits are zeros. So if I am changing the subnet mask here for the class C or any other class that means I am forming a network for my requirement I need only 32. So that is how we are changing now the subnet bits here. So from the existing 24 bits which were denoting for the class c ip addresses and 8 bits for the host part now i have made it what 27 as the network bits and 5 as the host bits so as per my requirement i have the option to change the network bits change and automatically the host bits will get changed suppose if i want to change the network bits to 25 i can then 7 bits will be meant for the host part like that if i am making the network part as 20 then i can have 12 bits for the host part so this way i am just depending on my requirement i am trying to change the network bit so that i can use only that many hosts which are required for me without wasting the ip addresses that is what i have shown here all 24 bits are once in class c but now here you can check in uh, the host portion only i have reduced so there is a possibility to either reduce the size of the network or to increase the size of the network here existing network is what having 24 bits now i have increased it to 27 3 bits i have added so that only host portion are only 5 bits 2 to the power of 5 32 ip addresses are possible and in this example what i have done is host bits were only 8 i have made it to 9 now so that now 9 bits means i'll be having 2 to the power of 9 512 ip addresses for me 
so the remaining bits will become the network bits you can always write the slash notation also here network portion no so you can always write here for class c slash notation is 24 for the default mask here 16 and here 8 okay so hope you got to know the requirement for the classless addressing the need for the classless addressing and if you find this information useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care